South Africa's competition regulator today has fined fixed line operator Telcom 449 million rand for bullying its competitors in a markets abuse case stretching back to 1999. The result is likely to be seen as a victory for Telcom after the competition commission had originally sought a fine of 3.5 billion rand in the case. We look deeper into this story and we joined at the desk by Trudy Makaya, manager for advocacy and stakeholder relations at the competition commission. Welcome Trudy. Good Thank to have you. you here. Would you agree with that sentiment that perhaps to some extent this is a victory for Telcom you had argued for a much stronger and I think a, a possibly a devastating penalty I think that's not it's not correct to look at it in terms of the penalty I think it's a victory for competition in the sense that I'm hoping that this judgment or this order will help us reflect on how we embed competition law and competition policy across the economy so I think it's a triumph for competition in the sense that uh, we've had a remedy um, where you know, a, a, state, a partially state-owned enterprise has been uh, engaging in conduct that uh, undermined its rivals. So I think that that has been um, a, a, clear, a good message. Your key findings right, n right now as to what, what took place back then, and does it have any implications for the telecom sector at this point? It does. In, well, in the sense that a lot of the conduct is, has ceased. So we look at conduct between 1999 and 2004 in this case. Um, and I think it also, but in general, it establishes the principle where you, telecom is still vertically integrated. And I think it, it makes a strong call for competition that telecom controls the infrastructure that its rivals have to access. Mm -hmm. And I think the message has to be clear that for rivals and for entrants to bring innovation into this market and to be able to thrive, they should have um, access on fair terms that don't undermine competition. So I think in the sense of the message that it, it gives, it, it will always be relevant. And obviously some of the harm, as you'd see from, from the judgment, has been done. Firms have exited. But in, in principle, I think going forward, hopefully we'll see changes in the telecommunications sector, which, is, which could be prone to this kind of um, conduct yes. given its structure. So the market structure is different. I think the way in which services provided are, uh, are different from 2004. But I hear what you're saying, that it's a matter of principle that uh, even state-owned enterprises or partially-owned enterprises uh, are not uh, above the law in this instance. This, the size of the, the fine that you argued for, 3.5 billion rand, would, would have been massive. And compared with what we had with Tiger Brands uh, a while ago, in total that would have been about a billion rand deal. So you've, we're serious about this. We're very serious about this. And I think this is the risk that firms um, undertake when they engage in anti-competitive conduct. You know, in this instance, you, you, you've had um, kind of different factors that were considered in setting the fine, but there's always the risk that you, you might get the maximum cap. And therefore, when you're thinking about conduct, one should always err on the side of competition uh, because the fines could be, uh, you know, a, as high um, as that. And, and that's something that should be borne in mind. It's obviously a case-by-case -case analysis and the circumstances, the merits of the case, uh, will warrant the kind of fine that is ultimately imposed. But I think it's, it's, it's obviously a very, very significant risk to expose oneself to. Trudy, thank you very much for joining us today and giving us some more details on that decision by the Competition Commission uh, to fine Telcom 449 million rand for abusing its powers.